and Steve Van Tassel. I'm CEO of Packet Power. What Packet Power does is we try to help data centers become more energy efficient by making it easy for them to monitor power consumption. The way that we go about doing it and the way that we make it easy is this. We have what we call smart power cables. In this, uh, in this attachment onto the power cable itself is basically the same components that you find in a smart power meter. So we provide very accurate uh, collection of power consumption data across time. The other thing that's in there is a radio. So all of our cables can talk to each other. They form a self-configuring wireless mesh network. And then within range, that mesh needs to be one of these. This is our USB gateway. It plugs into the USB port on a Windows PC. It gathers up information from thousands of the cables. As long as it can talk to one cable, it needs to be within a couple hundred feet of it, it can get information from all of the cables in the mesh. It then transmits the information for analysis and reporting purposes in our number crunching uh, application. That application is offered as a service. It runs on a cloud computing platform. So the only thing that the customer need to deploy is the cables and the, the, the gateway dongle. For security conscious customers, uh, it, our, our cloud service is encrypted uh, twice, so it's a highly secure environment, but if people prefer to have this, the application deployed on their site, we offer site-based, traditional site-based licensing as well. So why don't I show you the application real quick? Sure, sounds good. This, uh, this is a data center facility. What we have here are two data centers. We can add another one just by by, by clicking. It's a drag and drop kind of thing. Within the data center, you just click to add racks in your facility. It's very easy to do. You can go into a rack. You can customize the rack. You can name the number of input facilities. You can describe the voltage and amperage for each input facilities. You can say how you want your power strips to align, stacked or side by side. You can assign tags. The tags are customer definable. Basically what a tag is, is a way to aggregate power consumption data. So if you're a hosting company, as an example, and you want to be able to build power consumption back to your customers, you can tag all of the assets associated with that customer across multiple facilities with their name, and our software will automatically aggregate the power consumption costs for that customer. Within the, uh, within the rack itself, it's very easy to add devices. We can just go ahead and add devices. You can name the devices if you'd like, and then you can insert our power uh, monitoring cables if I had a list of them here. What would normally happen is the license list would show up here of the cables that you're licensed for. The ID that I'm using doesn't have any of them licensed, so we'll jump over and look at some that are already, oops, cancel that, that are already deployed. So in this facility, we've got a rack that has uh, power monitoring done two ways. Most of our customers monitor power at the rack level by default. So in this case, the second circuit, the A and B side second circuit is monitored with one of our smart cables at the power strip level. All of these devices tie into that power strip and it would, it would report on power consumption for the power strip and aggregate. In this case, for these two devices, the customer wanted to monitor at the device level, so we deployed the power, the smart power cables at the device level. And that's it for the software. It's very easy to turn on power consumption information, so we can display power consumption information at whatever level is monitored. It aggregates up at the device level, at the rack level, at the facility level. We can also display temperature. So our devices measure temperature on the outside of that little enclosure. They'll add later this year a system that measures input temperature as well as output temperature, so you can get a pretty good temperature map of the facility. Um, tell me a little bit about the genesis of the company and uh, how you guys came together. The company was formed in January of 2008, so we're a fairly new company, uh, with the idea that, that there's very little information available about uh, the consumption of electricity. Compare it as an example to uh, telecommunications. You look at the information you get in your cell phone. You, you know, when you look at your cell phone bill, you know who you called, you know when you called them, you know how long it, it, the call lasted, uh, whether it was in-network or out-of-network, there's pages and pages of information. What you get from your power company is equivalent to the cover page of your cell phone bill. You get the, the total for the month, and if you want to become more efficient about using power, you just don't have the level of information that you need to be able to figure out the right way to go about it. So our goal is to make it easy to do power monitoring on a highly granular basis. The market that we're focusing on first is data centers. It's our first and only market. And, and what kind of uh, customers are, are finding uh, interest in your, in your product? It's a mix. Um, if you have a, an existing data center facility that doesn't have the capability to do power monitoring at the level that you want, it's very easy to insert our technology. You don't have to take any of the existing equipment out. There's no disruption to the physical infrastructure of the facility itself. No electricians needed. Hosting companies like our technology because they charge power back to their customers increasingly. We make it very easy for them to do that on an accurate basis. We just announced a partnership today with a company called PDU Cables. PDU Cables makes cables that run from the floor-based 
above the race floor from main PDUs out to the rack based power strips. They, their product runs underneath the floor. It's a conduit based metal enclosure. Uh, they're offering our power monitoring capability as an as a optional feature so that if you're adding power infrastructure to your facility, it's very easy to add our capability in uh, by that partnership. Okay, awesome. Steve, thanks a lot for uh, giving us a walkthrough of Packet Power. Thanks, Rich. We appreciate it.